In Excel, you can use option buttons to let people select the answer to a question. Here, for language, someone could either click on English or French, and when they click one, it automatically clears the other so they can only make one choice. So we have a blank worksheet where we're going to set up a box to contain our answers, and within that we'll put the option buttons. On the Developer tab of the ribbon, in the Controls group, click Insert. And there are two groups of controls. There's Form Controls and ActiveX. And we're going to use Form Controls. And in there, we're going to start by making a box for the option buttons. So we click Group Box. And point on the worksheet, and we're just going to click where we'd like the top left of that group box to be. So it creates a group box and it'll just number it based on what you've been doing. So if it's the first group box you've created, it would be number one. This one is the fourth one since I've been working on files in Excel. So it's group box four. Now to change that label, I'm going to just select all the text that's there. And I'll just type a new caption for that group box. I can also change the size of it by pointing to one of these white circle handles and just drag it out so it's a bit wider and a bit shorter. So this is the group box and I'm going to put the option buttons in there. Anything that's inside this group box will be connected to one another. So those buttons will be connected and if I click one it will unselect any of the others. So going back up to the ribbon, I'll click insert again and click this is the option button. So I'll click that to select that tool and now I'm going to click again where I want the top left of the first option button. So this is the one that's going to be for English and I'll make another option button now and click here and this will be for French. Now we have to make sure when we're putting these in that the entire option button and the label, everything is within the borders of this group box. Otherwise they won't be connected to one another. So now we have our two buttons, and if I click one, it's selected. If I click the other one, the first one is unselected, so we can only make one choice. Then, if we want to store this information somewhere, we can connect these option buttons to a cell on this worksheet or another worksheet. To do that, I'll right-click on the option control and go down to Format, Control. And in this dialog box, there's a cell link. So I'll click in there, and just so we can see what's happening, I'm going to link it to a cell right on this worksheet. So I'll link it to cell B9, and click OK. So it's showing a 2 now, because the second option is selected. If I click on English, the first option is selected. They're numbered in the order that you created them. So this was the first one I created. This is the second one. And now you could use this number in a formula or as part of a lookup table. So if I say here equals if this cell equals 2, Bonjour. Otherwise, hello. So if someone selects French as their language, we can show some French. If they choose English, we'll show English.